Hi Libra, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, Libra, let's jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Libra with a true, accurate message from you. Okay, um, what I was getting off camera is um, you know, how bad do you want this? Um, something about you didn't know it was going to be like this. Uh, do you even want this? Okay. Um, that's what I got. Alright, so let's see what we're dealing with this week. What's going on for my Libra? This first card out, the Ten of Swords. Um, so you could feel backstabbed, betrayed, um, left out. You could feel like you're the victim. You could feel like there's a sense of uh, violence happening to you or something volatile happening to you. Something could be breaking down or has already broke down. Uh, this talks about collapse, exhaustion. Um, yeah, victim mentality, victimhood. It could even be violence. Um, the inability to cope here also with something being over. Something could have ended, somebody's life could have ended and somebody just can't cope with it. So a relationship could be ending or is ending or this is the manifestation of the relationship. It's the Ten of Swords. If someone just can't cope with it, that something is over. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be an aspect of a relationship. So I heard somebody was asked to get out. Someone was asked to leave. Let's see. Yeah, somebody felt blindsided by that. Let's see. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Um, so somebody could want to start something new elsewhere. They, this also could be about somebody is trying to recommit themselves to their work or work ethic or learning something or maybe even like a school, Eight of Wands. Um, how dedicated are you to this? There's going to be an opportunity for you to take hold of this, to move it forward, to get what you've manifest, what you want here. Uh, somebody's obsessed with this thing, um, or maybe with this job. Somebody's putting out a lot of resumes, um, a lot of communication. Um, they may not be getting what they're looking for or what they want. Want. It's, it's, this is an obstacle in your relationship and it's asking you it's telling you that your commitment is being tested okay um, your commitment to the relationship to something to everything right now is being tested you could want to walk away you could want to leave you could want to start something new uh, you could want something to happen quickly what is this about for Libra what is this about for Yeah, making some life altering choice over what you love to do in your work or work and what you love to do. You got to choose who you love and then work. Or something about relationship and work. You have a choice here. Um. Let's see. Something about selfishness. Something that's real passionate, real steamy. Something that just started back up. Somebody that you left or a relationship is over and they just can't cope with the fact that it's over. They could be trying to apologize with you. At this point, they're just obsessed with you. They're obsessed with having you back. Their ego is in the way or your ego is in the way. Um, you could have a choice of lovers. You could have a choice of what you love to do in your job. I mean, a choice of a person in your job. The two of swords. Yeah. This is your energy, Libra. You're finding that it's just going to be, you have a decision to make. You're finding that it's easier just to bury your head in the sand right now and not make a decision or walk away and come back to it. You're wearing, 
weighing the pros and the cons of this uh, decision. You also want to have cooperation here with this um, this situation and get to have you want to plan. You want a, a course of action. It's like you you're thinking, should I just leave and just let it be? I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should um, allow this person to try to make it up to me, or I don't know if I should stay here, or if I should leave. It's something about leaving and staying, staying and leaving, because your commitment to somebody or something is being tested. It could be your job, it could be a person, place, or thing. Um, your pride, it says, don't let your pride get in the way, um, or somebody's pride is getting in the way of them having clear judgment. The Knight of Pentacles, this definitely a, is about commitment, perseverance. Um, it's about uh, being reliable, um, hardworking, dependable, showing up each and every day. It's about profiting, it's about gain. It's about um, definitely being committed with the Knight of Pentacles. Well, who are what? You don't know who or what you want to commit to or who you should commit to or which commitment you should take. You're unsure. Right now, it's just easier to play both sides or stay in the middle or stay neutral. Um, yeah, right now, it's just it's easier for you to play both sides or play both people. You don't know who you can have long-term stability with or where you can have it or if you can have this or if you could stay in this relationship long-term. Something about that. Some of you are staying in a relationship just because of legacy and long-term, but there is no love. There is no likeness. There is no chemistry. It's just duty. Yeah, priest. You might need to go talk to someone about what it is you need to do. Um... You might be abstaining or practicing a level of chastity. There's some repressed sexual desires here also. Some of you are in relationships where you just stand because it's fortunate to stay. Fortune, Ten of Pentacles. It's, um, this is your fortune. This is your duty. This is the outcome of your life. This is the long-term goal fulfillment to stay here and to make it work. This also make it be, and this could be family, it could be family influence or affluence or marrying into money or something about wanting to see it through because of family. Having to stay in something rigid and uh, abstain. Somebody, somebody wants to cut loose. Like somebody wants to have a whole hot girl summer, hot boy summer, but your commitment is being tested. How committed are you to this thing or this person? Your commitment is definitely being tested here. Don't let your pride and your ego get in the way of having long-term stability in a committed relationship. Some of you, this is um, this could be your person too. They have to decide if they want to be out in the streets or do they want you? Do they want the commitment? Okay, Libra, this is your reading. Thank you for uh, showing up. If it resonates, like, share, comment. Let me know below how it resonates. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Paying for your question, receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device. Thank you, Libra. Many blessings to you.